Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful large pendant with super dew beads. Uh, I will show you step by step, I'll guide you through the process so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it by yourself if you have any questions ask me in the comments. If you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I have new videos, usually two times a week and you will be inspired often. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. If you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook or my Instagram page that you could find down there in description and you could find a lot of resources down there in description. There is a short clip to this video which is only 2-3 minutes and you will see the whole project fast and decide if you feel like making it or not. This is on my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips and you could check it out and also subscribe there. Down there in description you could also find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. So check it out! And now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 seed beads and three matching colors of two hole beads called super dual beads or twin beads depending on the manufacturer. Both work for this project. And here I use a bale. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice like fireline. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers. They are not obligatory but sometimes I use them to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and first I'm going to pick up following sequence of beads. I'm taking three black super dew beads, one silver, then again three black, one silver, three blacks, here they are, one silver, three more blacks, and one silver. Okay, this is what I have first. I have tw 12 black beads separated by four silver seed beads and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle here in my mat and what I'm going to do is make a knot and I make it by making a loop going twice or you could go even three times through this loop you've made, pull. Then what I do is that I make one more knot just to be sure that everything is nice, tight and secure. And after I make this knot I make sure I'm between those two bits where I started it from and I pull. And now guys I have the center of my pendant ready. Okay, then in my next step, what I want to do is go in this direction through these three black beads. Okay, I went through those three beads and now in my next step I'm going as I'm exiting from this inner hole here next to the silver, I'm going in this direction through the black super dew bead, okay, from here to here through the empty hole of this bead. Okay, then in my next step, I'm going to pick up one red bead, just like this, and go through the following black one. Okay, then I'm going to pick up one more red and go through the following black. Then it comes the silver. Okay, I take silver and here where my silver bead is, I add one silver 
super duo silver okay now this is what i have now again i need one red go through the red go through the black sorry one more red go through the following black the silver one this is above the silver seed bead this is the easy way to remember it and i'm going to continue this until the end of this row it comes the last silver here and I add it so now I have this okay and now I want to reposition my thread I want to go through this red one through its inner hole and then I want to go in this direction through its outer empty hole and what I want to take here is one red seed bead and one silver bead okay and I'm going here through this silver then one silver and one red seed bead and I'm going here through this red one okay and here between those two reds I need two black beads okay and I add here two black beads two black super do beads then again next to my silver I need a red and a silver and I'm going through the silver super duo or twin bead whatever you have and I take one super duo and one red seed bead and I go through the red one here where my red is I need two black beads just like this and I'm going to repeat this until the end of this row Here I am guys at my last step where I'm adding my last two black beads okay now this is what I have okay and in my next step I want to go through those three silver beads through their inner hole and now I want to exit through the outer empty hole of this bead okay and I take one silver and I go through the following silver through its empty hole then what I need to take here are three red beads and I'm going through the black one and then again I need two reds two super do red beads Okay, like this then I take three red beads and I go here through this silver okay like this then one more silver and I go in the center here between those two silvers and attach it and now I'm going to continue this until the end of this row I take three reds I go here through the black one I take two red super duos 
and I go through the empty hole of the following black. Again, what I need are red beads and I'm going through the silver. And I think you get the idea. I will finish this row the same way I'm showing you here. I'll do this off camera and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. If you forgot how I'm doing this, just rewind this video, repeat this from here and meet me. Okay, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And I pull and now I have this. And in my next step, I'm going here through this silver. And what I want to take are two blacks, one silver and two more black beads. And I'm going here through this red one. And then I pull. Then what I need to add here are three silver beads. And I go here through this red one. Just like this. Okay. Then two blacks, one silver and two black beads. Go here through the silver. And repeat it, two blacks, one silver, two black beads. And go here at the edge through the red one. And here what I need to add are three silver beads and I go here through the red one. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. And I'm going here at the edge exiting of this super duo. And what I want to take are five red beads. Okay, and I have my five here. And I'm going back in circle through this silver. Okay, now what I want to do is go through the first red bead here. Okay, like this. Take one silver bead and go through the, the red one that's just the opposite. From the inner, from the center I meant, to the outside edge. And now you see what I have. I have this cute flower here, okay? Then what I wanna do next is go at the edge of this flower, okay? And I want to go here in this black one. Then guys, I want to exit out of the silver bead here. And I'm going to take three silver beads, just like this. And I'm going back through this silver and also through these two blacks, the red and the following silver. Okay, if you can do this in one movement, if not, you could go in two or three movements. But the idea is after you make this cross of four or right angle with to go here, exit from the first silver at the angle and add three black beads. Okay, then I'm adding those three black beads and I'm exiting out of this silver here at the edge. And what I want to take are three silvers, go back in circle and if you can in one movement go out of this uh, silver bead here. And what I want to do next is this cute flower that I did before. In order to do this, I need five beads and I'm going back here through this silver one, just like this. 
and I'm going through the first red bead in this direction okay I'm going through the first if you don't see my thread here it is after the first one and I take one silver and I'm going to turn my work in this direction and go through this red one here through the opposite red one and from the center to the outside edge now pull and now I'm going in this direction okay and what I do next is exit out of this silver and take three silver beads three of them and I make a cross here I make a cross of four beads of four silver beads this is called right angle weave and then I'm going here at the edge exiting out of this silver and take three black beads and I'm skipping the one that's in the middle and exit out of the next silver and also go through the red through those two black beads and I'm aiming for this silver bead here okay and I think you got the idea and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row if you forgot how I do this just see what I'm doing here and repeat it okay guys and I'm adding here those black beads okay I'm taking three silver beads okay going back here then what I do is that I want to go as far as possible as I can okay and here I am at this silver okay the first silver that I did okay guys now I'm going to show you an additional step of reinforcing this work okay how I do this I go here at the edge through all of my beads I could go here through the silvers or through the black ones and I want to make with these steps I want to make this four beads these crosses of four to stay in a better shape and not to bend like this so I'm going between those two black beads here here I am between those two blacks and I'm going through the silver okay then through the next two silvers and also between the blacks not here in the first black but between them okay and in this way uh, these silver beads are fixed and won't move around then I could go around the flower here okay around the edges of my flower okay then I go through the first black here through the first of those two blacks and in order to make this bead stay in a better shape I'm going through the first silver then through the top silver through the next one and between the two black beads in this way I'm making an edge that is looks better and not move around okay and I'll do this off camera until the end and I'll be back okay guys and here I am where I'm going through the last silver beads from this row 
and now all of my beads at the edge stay in a better shape and not move around up and down and there is a slight bend to, the, to this project that I like okay and now here I am exiting out of the edge and now I'm going to make a loop of beads where I will attach the bale okay and I'm taking six beads okay I have my six beads here and I'm going back in circle through this black one okay then I'm going to reinforce Okay guys and here what I want to do is make a loop and a knot and cut my thread. I'm making it by making here a loop and going once and going second time through the loop I made and I pull. Then what I do is that I go through the following seed bead and I could repeat this knot several times when i'm ready with the last knot i go through the following seed bead and cut my thread and now my pendant is almost ready i just need to attach the bale to it and now i have a bale and a cord prepared and what i'm going to do is open up my bale then i will go through the cord like this you could use a chain whatever you like then i'm coming here and I'm squeezing my bale like this to attach it here. Okay, and now guys, my pendant is ready. Okay guys, so now my large super dual pendant is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. And down there in description, you will find a lot of resources, so, so check it out. There you will find a short clip of this video that is only 2-3 minutes and you could see the whole project fast and decide if, if you feel like making it or not. This is on my second channel, Bijuteo Fast Clips, and you could also subscribe there. You will find full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and links where you could buy supplies from. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.